Hey guys, it's me, Teresa Perrin. Happy Friday. Today I would like to talk to you about Mara, ticker M-A-R-A. -A. That's M as in Michael, A as in Alpha, R as in Romeo, A as in Alpha. Because guys, for the past several weeks, it appears to be starting to really take off. It's gone from a low of $5 all the way up to $18.28 over the last few months. And I really believe that it's going to continue. The actual low is $5.27 to be exact, and that occurred on June 30th. So between June 30th and August 12th, so approximately six weeks, guys, this stock has increased over $13 per share from $5.27 to $18.28. And this week alone, it was up 20.42%, uh, which is significant. I mean, imagine making 20.42% every single week on the stock market. Guys, we would be rolling in it. So, for that reason, I want to bring this to your attention because as long as crypto keeps going up, this will continue to keep going up. And believe it or not, it actually had a pullback this week after earnings because as you know, we've been in a kind of a crypto low um, and crypto's just starting to turn back around. And I feel like the crypto mining stocks, some of them, Mara and Riot especially, and HUD8 this week, have really been taken off faster than Bitcoin's been going up. And I could be mistaken, but that's the way that I'm seeing it because Bitcoin is still in the mid 20s. So to me, I I personally think, let me see if I look at the past week. It is guys, because in the past one week, Bitcoin's only gone up 4.92% and Mars gone up over 20%. So it is pretty significant, uh, the difference. And I really think that we're nowhere near done. And let me show you the chart and explain to you what I'm seeing and why I think we're going to continue this. Okay, guys, this is the two-year chart that I have in front of me. And as you can see, the low was $1.48. And it went up to a high of $83.45 before it came back down to that 527. And currently we are back in a very nice uptrend that I expect to be continuing, um, especially on Monday, because there were a lot of options that went in the money and I'm not sure how much they hedged for those, especially at the end of the day, the $18 contracts. Um, I don't see a significant run after hours. It closed at 1827, which is three cents away from where it closed the day at, at 1824. So, you know, I would be highly suspicious that they covered those $18 options. That's if people execute it anyways, but um, it's hard to tell. Anyways, as you can see, there's a long way up for us to go. Look at how long it went up last time. As long as Bitcoin continues on the uptrend, I think we will too. Now see this three at 35 cents down here? I wanna show you the power of options. So guys, back when this was around, oh God, I wish it gave me the date when I bought these. I wanna say it was trading around maybe $8. And I said, I think this is gonna keep going. So. I didn't know though, like, it, you know, cause it was kind of being funny the way crypto was moving. So I said, eh, I'm just gonna buy a couple for the heck of it guys. So I kind of forgot about it till it really started taking off. I bought three contracts for 35 cents um, a share. So essentially it's like 300 shares at, or the right to buy 300 shares that I paid 35 cents for this right each, right? So essentially, um, $105 for these three contracts, guys, and they're now worth $1,627.50. It's absolutely amazing how quickly these have just gone up. Like these were three August 19th, so they expire this week. So I'm hoping we get another good run. 
$12.50 contracts, which were out of the money. They were just, you know, kind of like $100 lotto play. Uh, every once in a while, I'll do something like that if I see something running and hoping to catch it and buy more on the way up. But guys, it was too late for me to catch it. And it was up so much that I didn't dare try, try to do that. When I sell these, I will probably buy a higher strike if I think that the run is going to continue. Um, if I see signs that it might pull back, then I might skip it and wait and see if I can get some lower on a pullback because to buy options on a green day is not the best thing you can do unless you're riding it up for just that day and you know, you catch it at the beginning of the day and it keeps going. I wouldn't recommend it. Um, you're better off buying options on a red day. So I want to show you why I think that this is going to continue. So looking at the short interest, guys, according to Fintel, which is often less than what you would see on Ortex, it's 27.49%. I used to rely on Ortex heavily, but I'm finding that it's not as reliable as I would like it to be in all scenarios. Um, I feel like they've screwed up a lot as far as the share counts go, which makes the figures off. And I don't want to have to go through every single filing since the time that it the stock started trading to have to see if they're right i mean that's really not what you pay for that service for so for right now i'm going to try to start using fintel and seeing what they tell me if i see somebody else posting something online um with ortex guys i'll share it with you but you know i i'm just not happy with the service and with the fact that they've been wrong on a couple of my plays. And I think it cost me a lot of money. So why pay for that service if you're not getting what you pay for, right? So for now on, we're going to use Fintel. And if I show you Ortex, it's going to come from me finding it from another source. Um, the short interest ratio is 1.4 days to cover, 27.49%. I did sell, see people saying that it was 30% via Ortex. So maybe that's changed over the last day or two, or maybe it's just, again, the shares are slightly off. And the dark pool ratio is 54.58% currently. And as you can see, they really want people to uh, short the stock because they have 1,200,000 shares available to borrow at a rate of 16.24. Now, there's other reasons that those could be available that we will talk about in a second. But guys, the FINRA short volume, um, as I just talked about, this shows you what percentage is in the dark pool. As you can see, it's been going up the last several days. It went from 47.72 up to 57.23%. So each day it's been kind of rising except for Wednesday. Um, so interestingly enough, they seem to be wanting to hide those transactions. Either that or they're getting a lot of orders from payment for order flow such as Robinhood and Weeble, which is entirely possible because maybe they want to get in on the play too. All right, guys, uh, here is why I think that Monday is going to be huge. Not only do they have all those option contracts that if people exercise, they have to cover and have shares for, right? And if they didn't hedge that bet, then it could really run. Um, and that's hard to know. But they also have to come up with 1,255,686 shares. So... The reason why I said perhaps they really want someone to borrow or it's something else is because go back here. How many shares are available to borrow? 1,200,000. That's right. Interesting, isn't it? I just thought I'd show you that correlation because, um, you know, they have to cover them, but are they going to borrow them in order to cover and just kick the can down the road? It's possible. But if you look at what they what they paid for those shares they need to cover, guys. One month ago, this was trading at $8.51. This was around the time I took out that option contract. So look at what they borrowed then. Funny, are they gonna do it again? I think they are. I think that's why that number is there, to be honest. But 
Again, that's pure speculation. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Feel free to leave a comment below. Anyways, definitely keep Mara on your watch list. Not only do I expect it to continue this run, but I also expect we could get a massive move to the upside, guys. So it's definitely worth keeping your eye on. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend.